Misty Hartman here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I think you're in for a treat today. This is a fun technique, which I actually really love. We're going to use today this stencil by PM Artist Studio called Going Days. This stencil works really well with this technique that I'm going to show you today. It's a lot of fun. It makes for spectacular results. We're going to layer three layers of paint onto our plate using the same stencil and then we'll use the fourth layer as our pull-up layer. Let me show you a couple examples that we're going to print today. We're going to print each one of these two prints. We're going to use pinks and then this one which is blue. They're very, very different, and I will show you each one of these prints today. Let's see Naples yellow. I'm going to lay it down on the plate. And this is an 8 by 10 inch plate. I'm going to lay this daisy stencil right down over the top of all of this. We're going to take Just a white piece of paper. Trying to pull up as much of this paint as is possible. Perfect. Pull this up. And then we'll let this dry. We need to rearrange this so that it doesn't match up perfectly, as we definitely don't want that. And lay that stencil down. We're going to take a little pie roll orange. We're going to go over the top of it, brayer it out. Pull this off and let it dry again. So the, I rearranged my stencil so that it's in a different location. And we're going to use this Quinn Magenta and we're going to use the High Flow. Pull that off. And we are definitely building up some beautiful layers. Let's look at it from the other side. See how pretty that is? So what I want is I have all of these translucent layers with the exception of the first layer which was opaque. The rest of these layers are all translucent. So in theory they should mix with the color that I put on as my final coat. Now I could do a gold on this which would be really lovely and would cause everything to just be very vibrant. But I'm not going to. I'm going to do this Lucas Krill, which is a chalkier paint and it's also a very opaque paint. That's going to be a nice print. All right, I'll be back when it's time to pull it. This first layer, just like on the other one, is going to be something that has a little opacity to it. Um, you wouldn't have to, but all the remaining layers are going to be fairly translucent. So I want this first layer to be somewhat opaque. So this okay. And that in and of itself is a nice print. So we've got a few spots that it's not removing the paint and 
I'm perfectly fine with that. Let's pull it off and let's let it dry. All right, so now I have my opaque layer on. I'm going to go something that's translucent. So let's do this Quin Magenta. We're going to pull this, and the blues don't show through as much as I would have liked, but we didn't quite get all the blue, and part of that was because I used the uh, high flow. We're going to use gold to pick this up, and I debated about different paint colors, and this is what I ended up s settling on. translucent layers underneath the opaque layer and then pulling it together with the gold is lovely. And here's the two together. This one had just pinks. This one had a little orange. I think I like the orange better. It's brighter. And then, of course, this one, which I think is outstanding. I love this. And then this one had turquoises, which is also, this one had turquoise, which is also pretty.